Let's talk about Tilray Brands, one of the major manufacturers of cannabis that started to expand into alcohol distribution. The entire cannabis sector is extremely speculative and very volatile, so any investor considering the space needs to keep that in mind going in. In fact, Tilray came public in 2018 and skyrocketed to $300 in value before collapsing. Even in 2021, where cannabis stocks saw a resurgence, Tilray never reached its all-time high. In fact, it didn't even break $100, capping out in the mid-60s. However, because as Tilray has good leadership, it's been thinking ahead and making strategic acquisitions of alcohol distribution and manufacturing companies. Now, this might sound odd since it is a cannabis manufacturer. However, you have to remember the next big move for cannabis after it gets legalized is drinks. Companies like Tilray have actually developed beverages that have the same kind of influence as alcohol, except they do so with no calories and no hangover. The upside potential to this sector is huge. However, so is the downside. We have no idea how long it's going to take to get cannabis legalized on a federal level in the United States, and it could be a very long time. This week, I decided to reopen my position in Tilray Brands, and even if you're a longtime reader of Get Hurt, you will not know this position because I actually started my original position in it in 2018 and closed it entirely a long time before I started the YouTube channel. In 2018, I bought Tilray after it had sold off from $300 at $114.99 and then turned around and sold it a few weeks later, closing the entire position at $174.83. It was a very good trade and I haven't looked back since. However, now that we actually have a positive news catalyst in cannabis, I decided to reopen this speculative position. I did so a little aggressively, buying at $3.18 on September 5th, and this locked in a 98.18% discount on those shares that I had sold for $174.83 back on October 16th of 2018. The way I'm going to mitigate my risk in this position is I'm only using the profits that I got from my original play. I will never put real investment capital back here as we don't know how low it could go, but I am interested in using the profits for further upside. The buy left me with a per share cost of negative $10.76, and in my portfolios, a negative per share cost means I've taken out the original investment capital in addition to $10.76 per share of the position I still hold. I'm going to continue being aggressive with Tilray, and my next buy order is at $2.57, a point of resistance that you can see many times in its past. My next sell target isn't until $55.01. Now, I might change my mind if we do start seeing cannabis rocket higher and I may take profits sooner than that. However, even as a speculative investment, this is still a long-term investment, so I don't mind holding it for the long term, particularly since I'm just playing with the house's money. For more ways to play cannabis, including two ETFs that I find to be much more safe and reliable for long-term investors, you can check out my previous video on the topic. If you want to learn more about long-term investing, in addition to seeing my own personal stock shopping list of where my next buy targets are for all of my positions, check out my website, geturk.com which is always 100% free. Please hit like and subscribe. It really does help my channel out. And I'll see you in the next video.